Ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into a topic that's been around since the dawn of humanity but is still the best kept secret, female sexual anatomy. Buckle up, because this journey through the vulva is going to be as enlightening as it is awkward. So, apparently, when it comes to female anatomy, the word, vagina, is often thrown around like it's the whole package. But, plot twist, vagina, is just the VIP lounge. The real party's happening in the vulva. First off, let's talk about the outer labia, or as I like to call them, the, hairy doorman, of the vulva nightclub. They've got the hair follicles and all the charm of a bouncer who's seen it all. When the party heats up, these doormen get a little more animated. Moving on, we've got the inner labia. Think of them as the VIP guests, no hair, all the flair. They come in every shape and size, like the toppings on a gourmet pizza. Some are thin and dainty, others thick and hearty. And yes, they tend to swell and change color when the mood is right, kind of like a mood ring, but way more complex. Now, let's not forget the forchette, where the inner lips meet at the bottom. It's the anatomical equivalent of the, reserved, sign at a fancy restaurant. And just when you think you've found all the hotspots, there's the frenulum at the top, basically the, do not disturb, zone, but trust me, it's sensitive. It's like a secret level in a video game. In summary, navigating female anatomy is like trying to understand a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek. Every area has its quirks and charms, and the key is to explore with curiosity and humor. Remember, it's all about finding the right buttons to push and knowing when to hit pause. So next time you hear someone say, vagina, and think it's the whole kit and caboodle, remember, there's a whole vulva worth of adventure waiting. Thanks for joining me on this anatomical escapade, don't forget to hit that like button, comment with your thoughts, subscribe for more awkward insights, and share this with someone who could use a laugh.